right, so last week I was hanging around school from my Guitar in the Fine Arts building, and I'm a commuter, so it's really hard for me to kind of find a place to practice or really just do anything. And I was outside right in front of the theater over there, and, the, and then I struck the first note. About seven theater people walked in talking very loudly about theater things, and it interrupted me completely, and they really didn't have any regard. So I decided to relocate to another place in the Fine Arts Building. The same thing happened, only less people, and it was a little bit of a pain. And I noticed that this is like a big problem here because you can't really like you can't really practice anywhere in your like in the comfort of your just by yourself or even really do any work if you're a commuter honestly and the commuter lounge is actually not as good as you would think for commuters to actually do their work so um, what I think that is writers should have dedicated rooms for commuter students looking to do work on something or just do like something privately how many of you in here are commuters is it just me mm -hmm. Well, basically then, you might understand that if you go to the commuter lounge, it's a little bit of a hassle to kind of do, because there's always people on their phones, there's always people talking, there's people just doing work and just they're really loud, and there's sometimes the writer staff has events going on in the cabal room next door, and it's just really, really annoying. So you don't really have any private place to go, and so basically, commuters have to have a place that's peaceful and quiet in order to study and do their own work and stuff. And um, there's no commuter study, stop, study spot, and it can be solved if they install private rooms on campus. Uh, because commuter students spend limited time on campus and limited time creating relationships with other students, faculty, and staff, they have fewer opportunities to engage in interactions with these individuals. So basically, this is kind of like connecting to the point that commuters don't have a lot of time to kind of go around and do anything really, like without being in a rush. So they need a place to go where they can get their work done quickly and then they'll have time to do everything else. And that was actually from a study from education.stateuniversity.com. And also, there's another piece of data from a chart from George D. Ka and Robert M. Gonya from the Disconnected Commuter article. And this kind of shows that education in commuters and the average driving commuter is actually lower than education for somebody who lives on campus, as in like statistics. And um, the average driving commuter student's numbers in the categories for retaining information and grades will be lower than the ones that live on campus. And this can reflect how much trouble they have by not having a stable place to work on campus. So now that I've told you a little bit about the problem, I'll tell you a little bit about the solution. This can all be solved, once again, if the private rooms are install installed in some of the buildings. And it will give commuters a place to go if they need to get their work done or practice anytime they want. Basically, the solution that can come out of this is that commuters will be able to can kind of contribute more to the, to the um, activity in school because they'll have more time to do work. They'll, have, they'll kind of be able to like live on campus without living on campus, per se, because they'll have time to do things by themselves without having a room of their own. And um, they have limited time to do everything, and they need to maintain a good college experience. They have little time with friends, little time with professors, limited time for work, and why not make it easier for them to get everything done in a timely manner? This would be helpful but there will be a few downsides. So another piece of data will be, it appears that further away from campus, walking distance and driving distance, the less likely a student is to take advantage of edu educational resources that the institution provides. And the proximity to campus makes a difference to, in commuter students' levels of engagement. With the caveat that in certain aspects of the classroom experience, commuters are comparable to their campus-based counterparts. And this kind of says, this is, um, it kind of says like that if we give commuters a reason to stay longer, then they'll stay and they'll benefit off of the, the fact that they can study anywhere they want and they can kind of have their own thing going without having to go home and be in a rush all the time. And some commuters might not be able to take advantage of this perk due to the fact that they're extra busy with work and school. And there's also possibilities that a lot of commuters can be using all these rooms at once and that there won't be a room for someone else because there's an overabundance and that's why it'll have to be like a time management system. But if enough people go to the rider administration with this idea, then we can get proper funding and actually perform it, it would be possible. This would make the lives of commuters much less stressful and much more convenient, and the commuter lounge doesn't really cut it when it comes to work because of all the phone calls and interruptions and overpopulation of the commuter lounge. And it's really time something is done about that. <coughs> 